scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when who bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on course at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. I am an agent, I am an agent of, of transformation. transformation. Yes, Following Jesus is yes. real life. Let us go preaching. Let us go praying. Let us go healing the sick. Following Jesus is real life. Working with him is a pleasure. So let us go preaching. Let us go praying. Let us go healing the sick. Let us go casting demons. Let us go raise the dead. Because following Jesus is real life. See, one of the legacies of the resurrection of Christ is the preaching in the name of Jesus for the forgiveness of sins. One of the legacies what the resurrection left behind is the preaching of the gospel in the name of Jesus for the forgiveness of sins. In his interaction with the two disciples of Emmaus, he opened their minds to the understanding of scriptures and said to them, Luke 24 from verse 45. Luke 24, 45. Then he opened their minds so they could understand the scriptures. May the Lord open your mind that you understand the scriptures. May he give you the spirit of wisdom and the revelation that you will know him better in the name of Jesus. Then he opened their minds now, so they could understand the scriptures. Now, he told them, this is what is written. The Messiah will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. When they were confused about the message of the women, that they did not find the body in the tomb, Jesus told them that it is written. And what is written is written. What is written is written. The Messiah will suffer. And rise from the dead on the third day. And the big one, 47. Now And repentance for the forgiveness of sins will be preached in the name to all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. Now so once he is resurrected, there should be the preaching in his name for the forgiveness of sins to all nations beginning at Jerusalem. 
This message has to be preached to the ends of the earth for the forgiveness of sins. Then the end will come. So let us go preaching. Let us go praying. Let us go healing the sick. Let us tell the world that Jesus brings humanity to the state of peace with God. That Jesus brings humanity to, to, to the state of quiet with God. To the state of ease and calm. Contentment with God. Through the blood. Let us go telling them that he pacifies he suits, he appeases God's wrath over humanity because of sin. We want to go back to this beautiful scripture. Again, Romans 3 verse 25. Romans 3, 25 and 26. I want you to get this into your spirit. That is why I want us to go back to it again. God presented Christ as a sacrifice of atonement through the shedding of his blood to be received by faith. You don't have to buy. You don't have to do anything. You have to receive to be received by faith. And he did this to demonstrate his own righteousness. Because in his forbearance, he has left the sins committed beforehand unpunished. He did this to demonstrate his righteousness. At the present time, so as to be just and the one who justifies those who have faith in Jesus. God presented Christ for avoidance of doubt and to prevent any argument or excuse. God presented Christ to humanity. God presented. He brought Christ to us. He introduced him publicly to the world. The Bible says, he did this to demonstrate or to make evident or to establish by argument or reasoning to prove his own righteousness and uphold his own justice. So when God gave Christ, he did that to prove his own righteousness and uphold his own justice so that no one can blame you. so that we will receive it by faith why did he do that? last week I said while his love is drawing the sinner to himself his holiness couldn't permit that while his faithfulness is saying that the soul that sins shall die his mercy is pleading for pardon. And to demonstrate his own righteousness. And uphold his justice therefore. Through his wisdom. God presented Christ. To all to be accepted by faith. You see, just look at me here. The day Pilate said, I present him. 
God was behind what Pilate Because God presented Christ. So when Pilate was asked, which one should I release? Jesus the Barabbas or Jesus the Messiah. Yes, Barabbas. And I said, Yes, Christ. When the people said they should release Barabbas and then get Christ to be crucified, and Pilate started washing his hands, he said, Come have him. God was using his hands to present Christ. Publicly to all of us. But through his blood, we who receive him by faith will be saved. Let us go preaching this message. See? You should just accept that by faith. Salvation is too expensive to be cost. You see, I'm sure that it is because of this presentation that God made. That is the reason the Holy Spirit has instigated the church and even non-church people to know a certain scripture by heart because it is central to the gospel. Children love it. The aged hardly forget it. Those who don't even know this, who don't belong to our fraternity. This is a verse they know. And sometimes they may not be able to quote it rightly, but at least you know that they are talking about this. John 3, 16. John 3, 16. Some of you don't even want me to read it. But I'll read it. Because of somebody. For God so loved the world. That he gave his one and only son. He gave. He presented. To satisfy his own righteousness. And uphold his justice. So that we will accept him by faith. That whoever believes in him. Shall not perish. But have eternal life. Now when you're down, God presented. So we'll receive him by faith. I love the verse 17. For God did not send his son. Did not present his son. Into the world to condemn the world. But that the world through him might be saved. Now look at verse 18 and 19. By the presentation. God puts everything to neutral. Everything to neutral. Doesn't matter the bigness of your sin. And found no born in a case. He has put everything to me. But the Bibia Ejina Pet. Now when you are not saved, so when you were it's all because you did not believe. It's not because your sins is your sin is just too much. And yes, be our case born in a swam. He has put everything to neutral. Even those we call sinners. Because they have not accepted Christ. It is still neutral for them. The day somebody tells them the scripture. And explains it to them. And they believe. They will be saved. So they are potentially saved. But somebody will have to tell them. Because he's died for all of us. Whoever believes in him. Is not condemned. But whoever does not believe. Stands condemned already. Why? 
Because they have not believed in the name of God's one and only Son. If you say one coupon back no ending. Verse 19 says, This is the verdict. This is the verdict. This has to do with law. Light has come into the world. But people love darkness instead of light because their deeds were evil. This is the verdict. While you go to hell, is that even though the light came, you love darkness more than light. And that's all. But hallelujah. There is therefore no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. That is what the scripture says. In Romans 8 verse 1. Once we believe. By the Bible said there is no condemnation. To those who are in Christ Jesus. We are acquitted and discharged. There is no condemnation. We have been set free. Romans 8 verse 1 and 2. Therefore, there is no condemnation, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. No condemnation. We are acquitted. We are discharged. By faith in Christ, we are justified. There is no condemnation. The one who has not believed is still condemned. Let us go preaching. Let us go telling them that there is no more condemnation to the one who believes. And then I love the verse too. Why is it that now there is no more condemnation. Because if he said, through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death. If he said, mm. The King James will say, the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus okay. has set us free from the law of sin and death. Now, if you are So what he did was backed by law. God's decision to bring Christ is backed by law. So, and then before God gave Christ to us, we were under a certain law. It is called the law of sin and death. To the extent that this law, we were under this law. But through Christ Jesus, a new law has been passed. It is the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. So when you believe him, this second law comes to cancel the first law. And you are set free. And there will be no condemnation for you. Why? Because the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free from the law of sin and death. But this one action of Christ, his name has become a refuge. It is a shelter that has become a hiding place. It is an opening for escape from the wrath of God. The name Jesus has a fortress. A place of exceptional safety. And security. Brothers, Jesus is a cleft, an opening in the side of the Almighty. 
Exodus 33. Verse 18. Exodus 3, 3, verse 18. Then Moses said, Now show me your glory, that I want to see your face. And Moses can say, And the Lord said, I will cause all my goodness to pass in front of you. And I will proclaim my name, the Lord, in your presence. And I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. And I will say, Me mame papa ye nina asini wenim. Na me pae me ding e wurade wenim. Na me dum diye me dum no. Na me hunu diye me hunu no mobo no mobo. But he said, you cannot see my face. For no one may see me and live. Now I say, wouldn't me who know my If we say, we need to bring who my name in Yangwa. Then let's pay attention to twenty-one and twenty-two. The big ones. Do you know about Kony? Do you know me? Do you Then the Lord said, "There is a place near me where you may stand on a rock." Now I rather say, "She, O Kwan, O Menchen, Ha, the Jina, O Butai, No So." Going to pass. No one will see my face and but me. But there is, I will make, I will make an oasis. Hanso, me bo There is a place. There is a place. There be a queen be. I will change. Moses does not know, but he said there is a place near me. Moses nim na so asi a queen be. I will change. Where you may stand on a rock. I will be to me a jina or botano eso. There's, there's a rock you have to stand. So botano be owa eso jina. When my glory passes by. I will put you in a cleft in the rock and cover you with my hand until I have passed by. Now say me ni mo nyam resen a me de wo be she obuo tokro ni mu na me de me nsa me kata wo so na ma sene answer. I will make a cleft in the rock. Me buye baby e wo obuo ni mu ai tokro. I will push you there. Na me de wo be she is the hiding place is a, a cleft an opening in the side of the almighty we are under the rock the rock is higher than I then the songwriter says Jehovah hide me hide me under the rock by the authority vested in the name of Jesus. The name Jesus has become a strong tower. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The Bible says the righteous run into it and they are saved. They are protected. Psalm 18 verse 2. Psalm 18 verse 2. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield 
and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. A radi, and then my botang, my bank is here, and then my jeffo, my young copon, and then my botang team, and my dunny, my cotuano, my chum, and then my quadje a bang, my banting team. See the way he describes the rock. The Lord is my rock. My fortress. And my deliverer. My God is my rock. In whom I take refuge. My shield and the horn of my salvation. My stronghold. My banting thing. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Psalm 91. Very popular psalm. Verse 1. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. But I like the King James version. Said the old King, King James. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. The Ote Osusu Ninu Hin Tabia Mechre the Otina Otunfono Ninu Aseno. So the Almighty has a secret place. And to Otunfono or Hin Tabia. It said to Moses, Catra Moses said, You are pass by. No one sees my face and live. O been to me, Hunumanim Antanasi. But there is a place near me. And so there be a woman chain her. I will keep you there. I will keep you there. And you stand on a rock. The Lord has a secret place. In Jesus Christ. I will say to my Lord. He is my refuge. And my fortress. My God in whom I trust. Let's go back to the end. Surely he will save you from the foulest snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers. In his fortress, he will cover you with his feathers. And under his wings, you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. Or the nintakra ebe kata waso na nintabaya se ena ube ko akwashe or chum ene enkatabuo ene nukre. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Munsro anajubumbo anabema etunam ewiakete. So in the night they are terrible things. Enti anajuo we bumbo ewo. And during the day some. They said there are arrows that flies by them. But they will hide you. Nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness. Nor the plague that destroys at midday. Mm -hmm. Does it say enam or say? And then I'm put there as an Kenya. If I ever say that, yeah, a thousand may fall on your side, ten thousand on your right hand, but it will not come near you. A pim et to tow and chain, na opidu et to tow nifa, na would ye and count. It's all because of verse one. Nina, ne se, senia, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Almighty. Senior, tio susu nino, ni in tabian. Of the most I shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. But not trade the ampon, no, nino, nino, ase. Verse one. A thousand may fall on your side, ten thousand on your right hand, but it will not come near you. You only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. Now look at verse 9. Then the Lord will say, If you say, The Lord is my refuge, and you make the most high your dwelling, comma, no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent. Now, what a radi, any midgan cobia, any, or susu nino, 
So what you know, I ye what tina be a bonny erring count no how a man want to madine. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. That is how precious you are in the eyes of God. You will tread on the lions and cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. You will, you will tread on the lion and the cobra. And I like this one. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me. Says the Lord. I will rescue him. I will protect him. For he acknowledges my name. I will All these promises is just because you acknowledge the name of the Lord. You will call on me and I will answer. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Jesus is our propitiation. He is our stronghold, our fortress. His name is a strong town. The righteous run into it and they are safe. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. Will certainly abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Walking with Jesus is real life. Let us go preaching. Let us go praying. Let us go healing the sick. Wherever you are. When we don't tell this good news to a friend. And friends go to hell. Their blood will be required of you. Let us go preaching. Let us go preaching. Let us go praying. Let us go healing the sick. Shall we rise to our feet? I want to ask you to take this song again. Oh, walking with Jesus. It's real life. Then after that we will pray. Oh, love us. Following Jesus is life. Walking with him the greatest king. Who else knows everything there is? Who else has conquered the forest? He's just with us his glorious life. And it's with us till end of time. Jesus our Lord, Jesus the greatest friend. Sing following, following Jesus is right. Walking with him, walking with him, the greatest. Who else knows who else knows everything? And who else has conquered that for us? And he's just with us, he's his glorious life. And he's with us till end of time. Sing Jesus our Lord, Jesus the greatest. Sing following Jesus. There's never a waste of time. So let us go preaching, let us go praying, let us go healing. Sing following Jesus. There's never a waste of time with Him. Let us go preaching, let us go praying, let us go healing the sick. Sing following. There's never a waste of time with God. Let us go preaching, let us go praying, let us go healing the sick. Following Jesus is life. 
working with him is most rewarding. We get to save lives and bring hope. We get to tear down lies with the truth. We get to travel through the end, bringing his light to darkest depths. Jesus our Lord, Jesus the greatest. Friends sing following. Working with him, we get to save lives. We get to tear down lies with the truth. We get to travel through the earth, bringing his light to darkest depths. Sing, Jesus our Lord, Jesus the greatest. Sing, fall away. There's never a waste in time with Jesus. Let us go preaching, let us go praying, let us go healing. Sing, following Jesus. There's never a waste in time with Him. Let us go preaching, let us go praying, let us go healing. Wherever you are, we want to just come out of our whole hearts. And bless God for the name Jesus. Maybe Let's open our mouths. The name that has brought us salvation. The name that has taken us out of condemnation. The name that has taken us out of has taken us out of condemnation. The name that has taken us out of condemnation. us that authority over the weapons and the machinations of the enemy. Let's bless God for the name of the Lord Jesus. Open your mouth wherever you are and let's just bless the name of the Lord. Let's bless the name of the Lord. Let's bless the name of the Lord. Thank you for the name Jesus. Ramene me kopa, satene me kopa, rada na na ba shaba na ba, rava na ba tene me kopa. Leva Jesus, thank you for the name Jesus. Thank you for the name Jesus. For the mention of the name Jesus, every knee bows and every tongue confesses. Anyone who mentions this name, you are able to save and save completely. We thank you for the salvation ability of the name Jesus. Anytime we mention this name, you stretch forth your hands to save. We thank you for such a wonderful name. What an awesome name. What a powerful name. The name that is above all names. We bless you, God, for gifting us with this very name. Thank you for the name Jesus. Thank you for the name Jesus. Thank you for the name Jesus. Lembra de Satan, Kodamana Bantanaman, Kod Satanem Kopa, Ranabanta Satan Kopa, Ranana Nene Satan, Kopanem Kopa, Hantanim Kopa, Ranamako Satanem Kopa, Rapala Bakapaya Kopa, Ranamasapana. Le pato bosa palaba, raba na ba tene me kopa, raba na ba sada na ba, le ba tene sopaya, rana ba sama na ba. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are, I want us to take advantage of this name, Jesus. Maybe I will be on the first side, the first side is to deal with you, man. Our daddy has made us to understand that the resurrection has brought the preaching his name to all nations. And any time we preach this name Jesus, it brings humanity to the state of peace and quiet, ease, calm, contentment with God through the blood. Jesus, the name Jesus pacifies and it suits and appeases God's wrath to humanity. 
Yesu Christo di you know and no na junya me abufu a owo mani pa wahwe ase wherever you want, want to make intercession in this name Jesus Baby bia wo bia e person ye jina say din yi mu dima and tonight we are lifting up members of our family whose hearts are hardened na anaji ye de ye na busua ni ye mfidua mu ni pa wo na koma aprim e ba urade ye ni so when in families that are a headache to parents e ma wo na so aye din atia wo na wofo people m- members of the family who are like the prodigal son whether they are in the church whether they are in the communities whether they are an extended family member tonight we want to take advantage of the name that let their hearts be softened we are pulling all such souls in the name of Jesus that as we mention the name Jesus over these souls may their salvation be brought forth pray for such souls in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Jesus, lift up your voice and let's pray. That hardened soul, that hardened heart, wherever they are, whether it is your husband, whether it is a wife, whether it is a child, lift up a prayer and let's intercede for them. That the name should pacify, the name should soothe, the name should draw outside people unto God. In the name of Jesus, Leva Kopati Sate, Ramana Makapaya, Hatene Mekola Di Sate, Rana Makopa, Nana Nabosapa, Mention that name over that brother, mention that name over that child, mention that name over that sister, mention that name over that family member, mention that name over that boss. The name of the Lord has the ability to save. It is because Jesus resurrected. So God has given that only name, Jesus, the ability to save. Take advantage of that name and intercede for that brother, that soul, that sister. In the name of Jesus, let the whole Tadi Bananda, Rana Bada Bosopa, Lapane Mesopaya, Hakane Menemeno Sate, Rapa Banda, Satane Mekopa, Rana Banda Mekopa, Lepanda Mekopa, Ramana Ba, Hanto Shati Bade Mekopa, Lepate Neme, pray for that soul, pray for that soul. You have been speaking for a long time too, that the name of the Lord, let that soul be brought under the same. Father the Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let hundred hearts be softened. In the name of Jesus, husbands that are difficult, let them be saved. Family members that have gone wayward. In the name of Jesus, we are bringing them forth into the light of the Lord. In Jesus' name, Kopati Sate, Hatene Mekopa, Rana Makopata, Hatene Mekopa, Rana Nana Mosoka, Hapane Mekopaya, Rebele Mekopaya, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Most high. We are taking advantage of the name in all situations. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, blessed be the name of the understand that by this one action of God, mm. 
The name of Jesus has become a refuge. Christo Yesu Dina Beye Guankobia. A fortress. A bay abandoned. A place of exceptional safety. Babia ye jani kosia and security. Naya nya bain bo papa. Jesus is a cleft. Yesu Christo na baya obuto kroa. On the side of the Almighty. Ewo e jano en en. Whoever dwells in this secret place will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. It says that you will not fear the terror of night when you dwell in that secret place. Nor the plague that destroys at midday. If you say the Lord is my refuge, and you make the most high your dwelling, no harm will overtake you. Tonight, wherever you are, we want to say that the Lord is our refuge. It doesn't matter that sickness. It doesn't matter that disease. It doesn't matter that financial challenge. The Lord is our refuge. As we say in prayer that the Lord is our refuge, no harm will overtake us. No disease will come near our tent. As we mention the name Jesus, we are enjoying divine exemptions. Lift up your voice and mention the name Jesus. In your condition, in your situation, in that sickness, whether it is a financial challenge, say that the Lord is my refuge. Mention that name, mention that name. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is our refuge. Tonight we run into that name. We make the most high of our dwelling place. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, no disaster will befall us. No plague will come our tents. We are not afraid by the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by the day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness. In the name of Jesus, because we have made the most high our refuge. In the name of Jesus, let my door shut in the It doesn't matter that condition that the doctors are saying. We are saying tonight, the Lord is our refuge. The Lord is our refuge. The Lord is our dwelling place. Jesus is our location. In the name of Jesus, let my door shut in. Let my door shut the Bible says that if to the one who believes all things are possible. So there are two people with them all things are possible. Number one is God. The second one is the one who believes in the name Jesus. Tonight we are taking our authorities as believers. Presenting the sick and the afflicted. Anyone who is in bondage. Wherever you are at the sound of our voice. The name of Jesus is bringing you deliverance. The name of Jesus is bringing you healing. The name of Jesus is working that miracle. I don't know the report of the doctors that you have heard. But tonight we have heard another report. And that report says that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are saved. 
Jesus. We are praying in the name of Jesus. Casting out sicknesses. Getting that are under bondage. We are commanding deliverance into your lives. Any situation that has broken people down. We are praying healing into their lives. Wherever you are, lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. In the name of Jesus. For the afflicted. For the bondage. For the sick. In the name of Jesus. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Believe in the name of Jesus tonight and apply the name of Jesus over that sickness. Lay your hands over that sickness and exercise authority in the name. The sick has been healed. The blind has seen. The lame are walking. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let my portion be the name of to you in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Kanama Kosa Atene de Kopa Eflade Satene Kanama Kosa in the name of Jesus we give you praise and we give you glory in Jesus we thank you for the name Jesus the name that is above all names that at the mention of the name every knee bows and every tongue confesses that he is Lord. We know that as we have mentioned this name over our families, over our siblings, over our children, they are saved. It doesn't matter the extent to which they have gone. It doesn't matter how wayward they have gone. Tonight, we stand upon this word you have spoken and we call them forth bringing them under the obedience of Christ. We pronounce their salvation whole in the name of Jesus. No member of our family will be a small child. No member of our families will be wayward. We pronounce the name Jesus. Let the blood speak a better word on their behalf. We pronounce them saved wherever they are. In the name of Jesus. And now we are presenting the afflicted, the sick, the challenged, people going through troubled situation. That at the name of Jesus, let their situation be solved. We command healing for the sick. Them that are expecting fruits of the womb, we command and pronounce that let those wombs be opened in the name of Jesus. Let the afflicted be delivered in the name of Jesus. Let them that are under bondage be delivered in the name of Jesus. We declare them healed. We declare them delivered. We declare every afflicted well and whole in Jesus' name. Amen. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.